Hi everybody. I wanted to do a video about Desk Mate 3 on the Color Computer 3. I think there's very little information online about this program, this GUI for the Coco. It was very, very interesting and powerful at the time being done on the Coco 3. This was a very low end 8 bit home computer. And DeskMate was a GUI interface that provided word processor, spreadsheet, database, file management, very, very sophisticated. I think it had some modem stuff and things like that that you know I was never able to use. So I thought it might be really interesting to show it. There's lots of information about DeskMate 3 for the Tandy 1000 and videos for that, but uh, this is much more primitive than that even though it's the same version number of DeskMate. So I'm going to go ahead and launch DeskMate on the Coco. This is running on an emulator by the way. And one thing that's really fun about this since it's on the emulator is you can capture the printer output. And you could actually print your Word document or Word processor document or your spreadsheet to your to your printer because uh, you capture the data directly to a Windows application. So the first thing I do is I have my DeskMate disk inserted, which is virtual here, and you run the command DOS, which just goes to your disk drive and loads the disk operating system. So it loads a newer operating system than what came on the Coco 3 called uh, OS 9, and then from there, it loads DeskMate. So I'm going to go ahead and load that. Oops, got to click my window here. All right, so I'm going to load DOS. And that's booting OS 9. And now it's loading DeskMate. Okay, 1987 Tandy Corp. Sorry, my mouse is kind of in the way there. And it looks like it is not Y2K compliant, as you can see by the two-digit year. So I'm going to put in the current date. And I'm going to put in 13 for 2013. And current time, 11, 45 p.m. Okay, so this takes us to the basically program manager for DeskMate on the Coco 3. And basically over here you have two data drives which are storage areas on floppies. You could have multiple floppy drives connected to your Coco. And these are the program disks. There's not very much space at all on the program disk. So if you didn't have a secondary floppy drive, you'd have to swap disks. I don't know. I think Ledger is the database program. And this is on program folder 3. And if we go to program folder 4, that's where we have a little paint program, word processing, calendar, filer, and telecommunications. Oh, maybe that's our spreadsheet, the other thing. Ledger. Oh, uh, Ledger's the spreadsheet. Yeah. Um, maybe Filer's a database? I don't know. It's been so, so long. Okay. So, anyway. I'm going to click on this data disk, and you can see I have a test file that I saved there. So, before we get into some of the programs, I'll show you the control panel options, which there's not too many options available, but of course, if you remember back to a original Macintosh or Windows 2.0 or Windows 1.0, there was very little options in the control panel there either. So here in the control panel, um, I forget, maybe that's a, oh, you know what? I think this is for drive mapping. Let me click that and we'll take a quick look. Yeah. So when you would attach, it's kind of like, uh, more like Linux as far as how you would map these drives. So from one command line, you would do slash D0 or slash D1. 
to represent your disk drives that were attached to the computer and then as well as these folders. So as you can see, the programs are on two different disks and the data is stored is on, on those disks just in a different folder. I'm going to cancel this. Printer, I'm not going to click on. Maybe we'll click on that. I don't want to end up crashing this demo here. Um, well, let's be brave. Let's click on it. See what it does. Maybe nothing. Oh. Oh, I guess you can set the margins and stuff for on your. It's funny. It has the hole. I'm glad we looked at this. It has the holes for the dot matrix paper. So anyone that's not familiar with the dot matrix, you're probably not watching this video. But if you never used a dot matrix, it didn't take feed in one sheet at a time. It was on a, a continuous feed of paper. So it had a tractor that it would feed this paper through. And let's see, break out of there. Little calculator. Not scientific, just a basic calculator. Okay, maybe we'll come back to the calculator. Oh, did I do it? Nope. All right, a uh, clock is basically the clock that you saw when we started up the system. I don't why nothing. Don't know why nothing is responding to me here. Let's see. Can we bring up the color palette? Oh, okay. Well, that's weird. All right, so this is a menu to change the colors. So we can change the background, foreground, color. I forget what these are. So let's see, so let's select the background color and we can do whatever we like. Maybe we'll do a nice dark blue. Foreground is white, I like that. And well, I don't know what these do. Oh, that's the highlights around there. Let's go, should we go for a terminal look? foreground we do green. That looks great. <laughs> there we go. Let's try that. And this is probably going to look really horrible. But, uh, make it red so if it comes up anywhere we'll see what it actually does I'm actually not even gonna get to show you any of these programs if I keep fooling around with this all right and continue Ooh. <laughs> that looks really bad um, let's see I'm determined to show you this calculator come on calculator Not loading. Hmm. All right, let's look at uh, the mouse options. I forget what's in there. Oh, oh, you can control with the mouse with a joystick or your keyboard. We'll stick with the uh, mouse there. A little help context menu. get to it. There's like a disconnect between my computer mouse and the mouse in this thing. Okay. Um, I'm going to go back in there and see if I can do the calculator. Why am I obsessed with the calculator? I don't know. Damn it. Oh! <laughs> There's the calculator. <laughs>
is not responding very well. Oh, I must have hit it. Anyway, so that's a little building calculator. All right, let's go back and I'll show you some of the word processing. I'm at 10 minutes already, jeez. Thank you for anyone hanging in there for this demo. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the word processor. The paint program is pretty interesting too. Okay. So say this is a test of the word processor. Uh, uh, Pure OC. Mate three GUI for the Coco three. All right, and not a whole lot of options in here. Gosh knows if I remember how to use this thing. I'm gonna need would need, totally need a manual. Um, but we can save, print. Or at least there's a help there. Let's see what's in these menus. Copy, delete, select. Find, change, find and change. Okay. So no built-in fonts or anything like that. No surprise for the time. All right. So let's try to save this file. We'll save it as. Uh, what should we save it as? Uh, awesome. It says more characters than DOS. Maybe it does. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Looks like ten. Awesome. Ten. Okay. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Oh. <laughs> they give you all that space and it has to be between one and eight. That's not cool. Alright. Oh, I don't know how to delete. Yikes. Uh break. Okay. All right, so that should be saved. And let's close it. Saved. No, we just saved it. That's the way it's done. Thank you for reminding me. Okay, so we're back out to desk view and if I go to data there's my file awesome and this is unbelievable anyone that used a coco I'm sure would find this unbelievable that you can just open your file and boom right into your application very very cool for its time so what's really neat here is in my emulator I can use this bitbanger thing and open a file and then we can print to that file okay and let's see here I'll show you that this works oops I gotta close that Oh, I'm running out of time. Configuration is great. Bit banger. Let's close it. Okay. And let's open it. And there it is. I could totally send this to my printer. I think that's really cool. So let's see, I have 50 seconds left. Uh, maybe, oh, no, I have zero time left, I think. Uh, 
Not sure when YouTube kicked me off. I think I have one video that's over 15 minutes. Let's see if I, it'll let me do it. If I have time to show you guys a spreadsheet. Maybe I'm allowed to do 20 minute videos now. Okay, so here's a spreadsheet. I have no idea if I how to use this program, but let's see 10, 10, 20, 20, 30. I don't know how to do formulas. I won't waste your time on here trying to figure it out. But uh, as you can see, it's a pretty nice, nice looking spreadsheet. 10 by 20, basically, for the columns and rows. And again, I can save this, and it'll actually, uh, if I, it'll save it as a tab or tab separated. And you can actually open it up in Excel. I've tried it, uh, and it'll open your, you know, it'll read it in as tab delimited and open your spreadsheet up, which is really, really cool. So that is a overview of Deskmate 3. I hope that everyone out there found it to be interesting. I think it's really cool that you were able to do this. I don't know the key for delete. I was going to show you the trash, but it's on an emulator. So let's see. If I try, I'm going to do it from here. Oh, delete. Isn't this cool? Look at all these options for this old thing. I think that's really cool. Working. There we go. And I have no idea how to get into the trash. <laughs> but anyway, uh, as you can see, this is really, really powerful for its time. Um, oops, so by icon. So I hope you enjoyed this look at Deskmate 3 for the Color Computer 3. Thank you.